Hello guys, I just received Anycubic Photon Mono X2 that Anycubic sent for me to try. In addition, they gave me a bottle of ABS light resin to use it for my projects. Today we're gonna take a quick look at this new resin printer together. I'm so excited to do this, because usually I print using FDM technology and I don't have too much experience with resin printers. I'm so curious how it will go, so let's give it a try. Today I will test two resins from Anycubic. One of them is ABS and the second one basic translucent green. Now here you see the build platform that has laser curved metal that can significantly improve print adhesion. The dimensions of this bed are 200 by 196 by 122 mm. The resin tray is fully metal and seems super solid. There is a small gap in the corner that helps us pour the resin more easily. This little box was also found in the package sent to me. This is a very useful set of things to help beginners. Now let's see what's inside. A plastic scraper and a few pairs of gloves that you can wear during the working process. What's more, an allen key set and spare screws were also in the box. And let's continue with pen drive with manuals. This pen drive has any cubic slicer and some test models to print. I found a very helpful file on a pen drive called RERF that can help to find out the optimal exposure parameters for different resins. There are also funnels with filters, masks, a metal scraper and a 120 watts power supply with a cable out of the little box. You will also find a screen protector that you need to install by your own. Now I will show you this process. I'm cleaning and preparing surface for a screen protector. I'm putting protector on the screen and removing bubbles using plastic scraper. It's really easy and fast procedure. Leveling the bed takes maximum one minute. There is a piece of paper in a box that we can use for it. It has double linear rail. This rail combined with a vibration absorption structure to ensure Z-axis operation accuracy and allow us to effectively eliminate layer lines. On the right you see the USB input and power supply input. Another thing that I want to mention is that the screen is a little bit old-fashioned and not accurate always as I wish. I have the same type in my Anycubic 4 Max Pro from 2019. But they are really intuitive. The Photon Mono X2 uses a 4K screen with a resolution of 4096 by 2560 pixels. The printing accuracy reaches 48 micrometers. As I read, it's 4% better than Photon Mono X. A printer with a 9.1 inches monochrome screen can print really large objects or several miniatures at once. The time from unboxing to printing is quite short. Any Cubic Photon Mono X2 uses new light source offering more uniform light exposure and better print quality. For the first test I will use basic translucent green resin. To create first print I used a model from the pen drive. Finally, I will pour the resin tray with ABS resin. I will use it to create new upgrade for my pet machine. Thanks to the SLA technology, creating a roller with special channels will not be a problem. I was positively surprised how easily I can remove the supports. I will use this part as a new upgrade for my pet machine. 
it immeasurably helped me to test my improvement and worked great. I printed micro features as well, including a pet machine keychain. Preparation and maintenance of any cubic printer is much more demanding than typical FDM printers, but it rewards us with 4K details. I had never thought of using this type of 3D printer before, especially for creating mechanical parts. I wasn't sure that this type of printer would properly respond to my needs. In the learning process, I damaged the FEP foil in the resin tray by mistake and there was no additional one in the box. And, in my opinion, any beginner might damage it at some point. But any cubic Photon Mono X2 didn't let me down. I will no doubt use this printer again and again for more demanding projects where accuracy and details are paramount. I really enjoyed preparing this review. I hope you feel the same while watching. See you next time.